Hey guys, it's Rob Shad, your Inky Brick Picker, and today I'm bringing you a how to or a tutorial on how I suspend and stage my Lego aircraft in my Lego City. Stay tuned. Okay guys, so right here I got an example of uh, about three different Lego sets I got here suspended. One in here is I just simply have a Lego police helicopter suspended with uh, one fishing line right here because it's small, doesn't need anything, and I want it to just kind of make it look like it's naturally just flying around in the city. Here I got a seam stage of a UFO in a shield fight, fighter plane launching a missile at the UFO. So here I just got the one fishing line here. And for the bigger sets, you got, you're got you going to need to use more. So here I got two set up. Now for the shield fire plane here, I actually got two wires set up here. So I got one connected to the rear, one connected to the front. I got them on different lengths so it kind of looks like it's flying in and it's launching its missile at it. So you kind of got to play around with how you stage them up and stuff like that. So, um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how I stage one of these. So right here I got the air cargo and we're going to stage this over near the mine and I'm going to show you how we're going to stage this that it's picking or dropping off cargo. So here we go. Okay guys, now let's go over the materials that we need to do this project. One is pretty simple. You need the item for the Lego that you're going to be hanging. So that's one item you need. The other one is you need fishing line. Fishing line's nice because it's nice and clear, so it kind of makes it look more natural hanging in the city compared of using clear Lego cylinders. I know a lot of people use the clear Lego cylinders. To me, I like using the fishing line. I'm able to do a lot more with the uh, item staging it and so forth. Now, um, the fishing line you could pick up basically anywhere, um, you know, being in tackle shops. Uh, the Hunting's Department and like Target or uh, Walmart, this stuff I picked up at Walmart. Now, Fishing Line comes in different weights. Um, here, I'll actually show you. I got the uh, 30 weight, which is the largest that they have, which is probably overkill. Um, if you're doing smaller items like this, you probably won't need a 30 pound line. You could probably go a lot less. The difference is it's the thickness. So the smaller the line, the thinner it is, and the more harder to see it is. Because I know on the camera you guys couldn't really see the line, but in person with the light shining, it actually shows a reflection on it. So you can actually use thinner. I got the big stuff because of the uh, Star Wars sets I was hanging. So instead of using different sizes, I just bought the largest and use it for all that. So we need that. And then we also need the interlocking snaps. These are also in the fishing department. I got two different sizes here. I got some nice tiny ones right here. So right here, this is a size 14. There you go. So size 14. Right there, that's what I got. And then I got a size 5 for the larger ones. This size, I tried getting the smallest size and then the largest size. What these are for is, I'll show you right here, is I got my fishing line and I got the two hooks hooked up. So the big one is the one that's going to go on the hook to the ceiling, while the small one here is going to go around the model. The 
The reason why I use the hooks is because I could hook it and unhook it. So here I could hook it, wraps around the model, I'm good to go, and the other end would clip to the ceiling. I like using the hooks because I might want to change it up, move them around, restage them, so this way I could disconnect them and use them. So you need the hooks for the size that you want. The large, depending on what size hook you have in the ceiling, will depend on what size interlocking snap you'll use. And then of course on the other end I used the smallest one I was able to find. And there are only a couple of bucks for these things. So I got the line and the two different size hooks. And then the next part is what you're going to use in the ceiling. Now, to hook your fishing line into the ceiling, it all depends on what kind of ceiling you have. So there's a couple of different options. One is you could use a screw eye hook. These screw eye hooks you could pick up at Home Depot. All it simply is, it's a circle and you could screw it in. So if you have like a be exposed beam, you could screw this right into the beam. Or um, you could do it in your um, drywall ceiling, but probably the best thing to do is hit the studs because the weight of your item you're going to suspend will pull the hook out if it's not secure good enough. Uh, the other alternative to that is using the uh, screw hooks. So you got the screw eyes you could use. You got the screw hooks you could also use. It's just a different kind of form. The screw hooks is kind of nice because all you have to do is with this, you could just hook it right onto it. You don't have to unclip it and put it around. So the hooks I like because it's easier for me to quickly remove them. And then there's different kinds of hooks. Uh, normally these ones right here are used for hanging plants and stuff. So plants are pretty heavy. So these are designed, they have like a back lock. So it locks into the drywall. So all these you can find in the hardware department at Home Depot or Lowe's. And there's going to be a lot of different kinds of hooks. So pick the one that best fits what you're going to be using to secure it. Uh, here I have a drop down ceiling. So in the in the ceiling department where you find the drop down ceilings in Home Depot or Lowe's, you'll find these light duty ceiling hooks. And these are basically designed that these plastic parts clip on the metal bracing on the drop down ceiling and then the hook goes into the hole. It's pretty straightforward. I got drop down ceiling so I picked up a couple packets of these and it's pretty straightforward. So this is what we're going to be using. We have our two snap hooks. We have our 30 pound fishing line and plus our hook for the ceiling. So we got these items plus the plane. Now let's uh, show you how we do this. Okay guys, now we're gonna prep this for hanging. So I got my little mine scene right here and what I wanna do is set up a scene that this helicopter is probably hovering and dropping or picking up cargo. So. I want to figure out what kind of height I want to set this up at. So that's when the line is going to be different sizes depending on how high up you're going to want this. Are you just going to have it just be flying here? So you know you could maybe just have it set up higher because it's just flying around the city. Or hey I'm going to set it up lower because hey it's hovering, it's picking up its item. Or hey it's hovering because it's going to land. Whatever kind of scene you want to set up. Kind of have a game plan set in your mind on how you're going to do it. So here I'm going to set this up that it is dropping off its cargo. So basically I want to get a height set for this. So I'm dropping this, dropping this down and the key thing is I do not want the kids to be grabbing at it. So I could probably set it up like maybe it's hovering, dropping off uh, load so I'll probably have it right about there. So now I kind of have an idea what I'm going to do. So now I got to cut my fishing line here. So all I'm going to do is kind of hold it up to the ceiling which is tough for you guys to see here and you want to make it a little bit longer too. 
because you figure you also have to loop this. So one thing you could do if you wanted to, you could kind of tape it up. And about right there seems pretty long. So it kind of got a ballpark. So let me see. Have it extended and go a little bit longer. Because so I can always trim it down. Now since I'm doing this, this one's a little larger. So chances are me using one string, it's not going to work good. You kind of got to find the center of gravity. Because if I probably just use one, it's going to fall back here. It's going to go like that. Or if I put it on one wing, it's going to kind of tilt sideways. So you got to think about how you're going to stage it. Am I, I might just put one string if I'm making it like do a turn or something, you know, one piece, one piece of string might look all right because it's making it look like a turn. But since I'm doing this hovering, probably the best place for me to do is I'm going to use two lines and put it on both sides of the wing. So I'm going to have a string here and a string here and support it there. If I wanted to, I could probably even put it right on the blades here and have it hanging there. But the wing is much more fatter and it's a little bit easier to secure there, so that's what I'm going to go with. So I got the length of my one, and it's pretty simple to get the same length on my other one. I'll just grab the first line I cut and the fishing line, which of course is all tangled up, and just fine to the end, and then cut. So there we go. So I got my two lines. Now what we got to do is tie the hooks onto these. Okay, so we're going to tie our hooks. And if you ever use the um, snap hooks, it's pretty straightforward if you've ever gone fishing how to do these. If you really want to, it actually shows you on the back of the packaging how to secure them. I forgot what kind of hook it's called, but it shows you right on the back of the packaging. See if, uh... So most of the snap hooks on the back of the packaging shows you how to do it. So I got my large hook. I got my line. So we're going to thread it through the eye. Loop it up. And then all I simply do is give it a couple of twists. Sometimes it's easy, sometimes it's difficult. So I give it a couple of twists and then feed it back through. Make sure it's nice and secure. And then the excess, I'll just trim off. So I got the big hook on one side. Now I got my smaller hook. Pretty tiny. And then I just go on to the other one. Feed it through the hole. Twist it a couple of times. Push it down, give it a couple good tugs. Perfect. So I know it's hard to see the line because it's pretty invisible. You just kind of see the shadow of it. So now I got my two hooks on this. Now we'll do the same thing to the other line and then we'll have two of these lines and then we'll show you guys how to hang them. Okay guys, so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna 
do the hook for the seal in here. So it's pretty simple. With, if I wanted to secure it better, I could actually bend this down so it always stays on it. So I'm going to place it right where I think I want it. And then just clip it right to the ceiling tile on the uh, support. Make sure it's nice and secure. Now I simply just put my hook in. And then for this setup, since I'm just going to have it hovering, I could actually just hook it up to one. If I wanted to, if I'm maneuvering it, Maybe I might have one here, so I have two hanging, dangling down. All depends on what kind of setup. You kind of move things around, and, you know, to what works for you. So all I'm simply going to do is put my two hooks on. So now I got it dangling. So now let's hook it up. So now I got my two hooks here. I got my hair craft. So all I'm simply going to do is grab one, loop it around the wing, I actually got to open up the clamps so I could loop it. Make sure I get the right one on the right side. So loop it around one wing, clip it on, loop it around the other wing. Flip it on. Sometimes you gotta play around with it, see what's gonna work the best. Because you got the center of gravity. Everything has a center of gravity. You gotta find out what is gonna look the best. Kind of play around with it until you get it just the way you want it. So you secure the clamps. There we go. And it's actually a little lower than I wanted it to be. If I wanted to, I could just unclip it somewhere and just cut the line further down. But that will work. And then I'll just crank this up. Put my cargo. Voila. Sometimes you gotta fiddle around with it. Do it just about right where I want it. So there we go. Perfect. Now I got my cargo hel helicopter stage. It's dropping down its uh, cargo, just hovering. And that's pretty simple. So now it's suspended and you can do basically whatever you want with it. So, guys, I hope that was uh, helpful. Uh, please comment. If you have any questions, you know, leave everything in the comments down below. Like the, you know, give it thumbs up and uh, please share it with everybody. This is just one tutorial and I'm going to, you know, bring you some more. I actually have a tutorial. I'm still in the middle of editing because it's a lot of work on how I built these modular tables. And hopefully I'll have that coming pretty soon. Uh, so that's basically how you uh, stage and hang your Legos. So it kind of adds some more... Uh, scenes to your Lego City and uh, once again
My name's Rob Schneider, the Inky Brick Picker. I'll see you guys next hey time. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching the video. Hope you enjoy it. Like always, click on the thumbs up. Please leave me your comments down below. Let me know what you like about the videos. Let me know what you want to see in the videos. Simply do it down below. I'm always reading the comments. Now, if you haven't subscribed yet to Yankee Brick Picker, it's real easy. All you have to do is click on the link right here in the video. Or you could also follow me on Facebook by clicking on the Facebook link. Or you could follow me on Instagram by clicking on the Instagram link. And like always, I got the website right down below right here. Click on www.yankeebrickpicker.com right down here at the bottom of the video. We'll bring you to the website where you can get to my BrickLink store and see photos and updates on the LEGO City and everything else I'll be doing on the YouTube channel. So make sure you follow all these links. And if you're on a mobile device and you can't click on any of this, all you have to do is the links will be right in the description down below. So once again, my name is Rob Schneier, Yankee Brick Picker, and I'll see you guys in the next video.